Good evening, guys. Well, if you park it your car at any of these 10 park and rides around King County, you probably have noticed that they fill up by 7 or 8 a.m. Now this permit program, what it will do is reserve up to 50% of the spots in these lots for paid permits so that those who pay for a spot here don't have to start their commute so early. So most of the council is for this. Three council members, however, are not saying it'll make parking competition even tougher for those who can't afford this fee. This gives people an option that if they can't buy a spot with their time, because their work schedule doesn't allow for it, because their kid drop off schedule doesn't allow for it, because they don't need to be wherever they're going at seven o'clock in the morning. They need to be there a little later in the morning. Those folks have an option. 50% of the spots are now gonna be taken up by people who are willing to pay $100, $125 for a spot. And then everyone else who's already spending a lot of money on taxes for bus ser services and for fees are going to have to compete for the remaining half of the spots. And so it's too much, too quickly, and it's too expensive. So what will this look like price-wise? Well, let's check out Northgate, for example. If you're going to park here and choose to buy the permit, if you're a solo rider, it'll cost you 120 bucks per month. This park and ride is on the higher end. The lowest is 60 bucks. Now, for Orca Lift riders, you'll be paying $20 a month. Carpoolers, you'll get your permit for free. However, if you do opt out of this program, you don't have to pay anything. But again, you are now competing with up to 50% less spots with other people to use them. So that's important to keep in mind. And Metro, what they hope is that you'll do is that you'll seek out other options like bike parking, first and last mile transportation, like their on-demand transportation, and also look into carpooling options. That's what they want people to do. This will generate over $500,000 in revenue, King County Metro predicts, and a percentage of that is going to go to more park and rides, expanding existing ones, and also creating parking tech, like an app that'll show you how many parking spaces are left. This will also be rolling out in the fall, so you do have a few months. So if you want to learn more about how this will impact you and your parking ride, you can text the word PARK to our number 206-448-4545, and we'll send you down a breakdown of this program. Guys?